Hey there, explorers of life and seekers of the extraordinary. Ready for a twist in the tale? Today we're setting off on a mind-bending adventure where seekers of faith and truth are waiting to be unlocked. And guess what? We've got a powerful secret weapon up our sleeve. A revelation so profound, it'll change the way you think and see the world. But, hang tight. We're revealing this game changer soon. So, keep those eyes peeled and stay with us. Today, we dive in deep into the heart of what it means to find salvation. And exploring the unique perspective of Christianity on salvation, deeds, revelation, and the grace of God. What is our guide? The Holy Scriptures, which of course is the Bible, alongside references to the Quran, lighting the path to true salvation, providing a cornerstone of our Christian belief and faith, contrasted with the insights from the Muslim faith. All right, so in the grand tapestry of beliefs, Christianity and Islam weave their own vibrant threads, but hold on. Did you catch that? Christianity harbors a breathtaking secret about salvation. It's not what you do, but what's been done for you. And we're not just teasing. This revelation is coming up, transforming everything you thought you knew about earning your way to eternity. At the core of Christianity is a profound truth found in Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. For grace ye are saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. This verse lays the foundation of our discussion today. Unlike any belief that suggests our deeds alone can earn us salvation, Christianity presents a powerful and transformative message. Salvation is a free gift from God, made possible by the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Simply put, in Christianity, salvation is the ultimate gift of God's grace, made possible through Jesus Christ. It is a testament to God's boundless love for us, offering redemption and eternal life. This powerful message distinguishes the Christian faith. Salvation is not earned by deeds, but is a free gift from God. But wait, there's a twist in our tale. Islam lights up the path with a sparkle of deeds, a contrast that makes our journey richer. Yet, Christianity's secret beckons with a promise of grace so vast it's like stumbling upon a cosmic treasure. Stay tuned. The unveiling of the secret will leave you in awe. So, in Islam, the Quran speaks of deeds influencing one's salvation. Surah al-Salaza 99-7-8 mention. So, whoever does an Adam's weight of good will see it and whoever does an Adam's weight of evil will see it. While good deeds are crucial in Islam for tipping the scales in one's favor, Christianity emphasizes that our deeds, while significant for living a righteous life, are not the ticket to salvation. Additionally, the Islamic faith, as detailed in the Quran, places significant emphasis on deeds. Surah al bar 225 says, and give good tidings to those who believe and do righteous deeds, that they will have gardens in paradise beneath which the rivers flow. Here, salvation is often seen as a balance between one's faith and actions. But let's go even further into the essence of our Christian faith, where Romans 6.23 eloquently states, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. This gift, everybody, is why we stand in awe of the grace bestowed upon us. You see, the heart of Christianity pulses with the recognition of our human limitations. Romans 3, 23 through 24 declares, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. It is a message of hope, underscoring that despite our imperfections, we are offered salvation as a gift, not a wage earned by our deeds. As we weave through the tapestry of faith, a question lingers in the 
back to my mind. Can Christians embrace Ramadan in a quest for a deeper connection? Here's the kicker. There is a powerful secret to this, a piece of wisdom that could bridge the world. Keep on watching the concept of participating in Ramadan as a Christian faith with pure intentions. It's about seeking to glorify God and understand a different culture better, to lead others in the truth of Christianity with love and respect. It is certainly a topic that invites reflection, prayer, and God's guidance. While our salvation is secure in Christ, engaging with other cultures and faiths, like observing Ramadan, can be a journey of understanding, love, and witness, provided our intentions are pure and glorify God. For example, we can take a deeper look by going into the Jesuit missions in Asia through the 16th and 17th centuries. The Jesuits, particularly Matteo Ricci in China, adopted an an approach known as accommodation, which involved adapting and adopting elements of the local culture and religion to better spread Christianity. Ricky learned that the Chinese language adopted, oh, he learned the Chinese language, adopted Chinese dress and outerwear, and he showed respect for the Confucian rituals and practices, arguing that these were cultural rather than religious and could be harmonized with Christian teachings. If we approach Ramadan in such a way as this, by engaging in such observances with a heart aimed to glorifying God, we open the doors to meaningful conversations and deeper understandings. 1 Corinthians 9.22 says, I am made all things to all men that I might by all means save some. This doesn't mean compromising our faith, but rather using our freedom in Christ to connect with others, showing love and grace that Jesus has shown to us. It's about building the bridges, fostering understanding, and most importantly, sharing the truth of the gospel. In the heart of Christianity lies a whisper, a powerful secret that's more than just words. It's a key to unfathomable love and grace. Are you ready for the big reveal? It's coming up. Promising to illuminate your path with the true essence of His divine grace. So, the message is this. It's very clear. Christianity says that salvation is not something we can earn through our deeds. It is God's contribution, made possible by the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus Christ. As we live our lives, let us do so with the intention of glorifying God in everything that we do, whether it's participating in traditions or understanding those of others. Let's be beacons of His love and truth in a world searching for hope. As we live morally righteous lives, let's remember it's not our deeds that save us, but the grace of God through faith in Jesus. And. It's this message we carry into the world, a beacon of hope, love, and salvation. Directly into the heart of this mystery, we venture where truths told and secrets await. This isn't just a journey, it's an awakening to a reality so radiant, so bright that your soul can't help but to just fly and soar away. The moment of revelation is near. Are you ready to witness a secret that could transform your very essence and the entirety of your complete soul? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That is John 3.16, folks. Additionally, in 1 Peter 3.15, But sanctify the Lord, God, in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of hope that is in you with meekness and fear. So, in closing, let us walk in the light of Christ, embracing all with love and understanding, guiding them to the truth that makes us free. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on this journey of faith. May the peace and grace of God be with you always. May your path be guided by His divine light and His truth. So, don't forget, everyone, to like and subscribe to this video. And if you would like any other engaging comment any other engaging content, excuse me, 
let us know in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you everybody. Have a great day.